1968's Targets was once called the closest thing to an A picture Roger Corman ever produced, and I can see why. Director and co-writer Peter Bogdanovich, along with Polly Platt and an uncredited Samuel Fuller, present a brilliantly crafted dual narrative that somehow feels organic and even intentional, despite the wackiness of its conception. Boris Karloff gives one of the finest swan song performances in cinema history as the aging Byron Orlock while Tim O'Kelly is highly underrated as the homicidal all-American boy whose horrific actions were a direct inspiration from Charles Whitman and Michael Andrew Clark's killing sprees. Working with an extremely low budget, Bogdanovich and longtime colleague cinematographer Laszlo Kovacs managed to achieve some fluid camera work and clever framing. The murder of O'Kelly's family and the sniper sequences, particularly the finale, are shot with cold-blooded precision. Surprising for a filmmaker who, while never shying away from darker material like The Last Picture Show and St. Jack, tended to favor lighter fare. It's one of the best directorial debuts ever and a great film. Would you like to know more about this film? Click on the link below. Feel free to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.